hello guys welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you are new here my name is Minzy. i would love for you guys to join our little community here all right guys in this video today i'm going to introduce you to 10 caramel fragrances in my collection um, you know what today when i look at my collection i'm actually surprised that i have a lot of caramel fragrances in my collection i didn't even notice that i have that many caramel fragrances um, honestly i did not intend to have that many caramel fragrances but here i am ended up with 10 different caramel fragrances so i would say that caramel is going neck to neck with vanilla as my top favorite fragrance note in the perfumery so i will stop rambling right now and jump right in the video before we jump in this video i just want to say that i'm not gonna go into details for each fragrance because if i do that we're gonna be here forever i have tens fragrances so i'm just gonna describe the main details of each fragrance um, maybe go through notes for some of them but not all of them because again if i do that we're gonna be here forever um, but yeah please grab a snack and enjoy this video all right guys the first fragrance i'm gonna talk about today is seta from morisque and this is the bottle very beautiful i have talked about this fragrance only one time on my channel and i didn't really go into detail of this fragrance because it was a first impression it was a haul video so i didn't really have enough time to actually experience this fragrance now that i already give it a full wear test i can give you more detail on this fragrance seta from Moresque is an amber fragrance and i noticed that this fragrance recently has been um, getting a lot of attention from the frag the fragrance community which i could understand because it is such a beautiful fragrance for the colder weather this fits perfect in the theme of fall and winter and let me spray this fragrance on a blotter and then we will talk about how it smell so if you remember me the first time talk about this fragrance I said that this fragrance reminds me of Mise en Seuf For Your Love and Amber Sun from Dolce & Gabbana. Yes, it still does remind me of the combination of the two, but it definitely is its own fragrance. I smell in here, I smell a lot of amber. Of course, because it is an amber fragrance. And even though they don't list the notes of caramel in here I can definitely smell that beautiful sweet good mom um, caramel in here with a beautiful saffron and white floral I think it is so different beautiful but at the same time very easy to understand I don't think that anyone would not like this fragrance because it is not a weird smelling niche fragrance it is different but still very easy very crowd pleasing in my in my opinion this fragrance also smell a little bit incense and spicy to me and that incense spicy elements really reminds me of dolce and gabbana amber sun but yeah that is seta from Moresque. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next one that have the caramel note, this fragrance actually have a caramel note in there and that is one and only Casablanca. I don't have to tell you much about this fragrance anymore. If you have been subscribing to my channel, you know this is one of my favorite affordable Arabian fragrance. This is just so beautiful. Mouth watering, gourmand, caramel, apple crisp, 
type of fragrance. It literally smell like apple crisp drizzle with caramel. And that's all I can say. This one doesn't really change much during the course of your wearing and which is what I love about it because I want it to stay caramelly and apple for the whole time because that smell is so addictive to me. At the beginning, it will lean more uh, fruity, but as it dries down, it definitely gets sweeter and sweeter, more caramel, more amber and resinous which I love, love so much. But yeah, that is Casablanca from Switch Arabian. Talking about Casablanca, I have to mention this next fragrance. It is my newest, one of my newest acquisitions in my collection. It is Silky Wood from Gofield and Bang. I got this one from San Angel with a very good deal. So I have been wanting this fragrance for the longest time. So when I saw they have, they running a, a very good deal last week, I just have to jump right on it and got my bottle of Silky Wood from Goldfin Bang. This is definitely my most favorite Goldfin Bang fragrance um, because it's really if you know me this is really right up my alley if you guys would love a dedicated uh, review for this fragrance just let me know but in this video I'm just gonna give you a couple of um, main things about this fragrance to me this one again there is no caramel note in this fragrance but I definitely smell caramel in here and you know when I first smell this one it's kind of reminds me of something that I could not put my finger on and when I went on Fragrantica somebody say that this smell like Casablanca from Switch Arabian so instantly I make that connection right away so when I got my bottle I have to make a comparison of silky wood and Casablanca right away and if you just base off from your memory yes the two fragrances smell pretty similar like one reminds me of the other but when you actually smell them side by side they completely two different fragrances to me Casablanca leans a lot more caramel sweet um, fruity type of fragrance whereas Silky Wood is much more complex. This is also a beautiful Guatemalan caramel fragrance but it has the woodiness, it has depth in here, it has some smokiness and the most important thing is it has a leather note in here. Um, actually it's not a leather note it is a sway note which you know smell like leather but a lot softer than leather and I usually cannot do leather in a fragrance because leather usually give me headache but I can do sway notes because it's much softer it just gives the fragrance more depth and more character but it doesn't really overwhelm me the sway notes in here you picked up right away and it really stay throughout the wear of the fragrance. It doesn't go anywhere. So you gotta love a Sway Note. You gotta like a Sway Note to be able to enjoy this fragrance. But honestly, I think this fragrance is also very easy going, very growl pleasing. It is more complex, but it's not a too difficult to understand niche type of fragrance oh so yeah you definitely check out silky wood from gofu and bang if you love a caramel fragrance and you love something more special sexy for date night and a beautiful fragrance for fall and winter silky wood from gofu and bang is absolutely stunning all right the next one on this list is 
Wedian Arabia Black number no. five. And this is the bottle. This is also very, very new in my collection. I just got it about a month ago and I wore it one time. This is a very beautiful white floral with caramel. So I could give you the notes for this one. So this is listed as a amber floral fragrance and it was launched in 2015. Top notes, cinnamon, peach, lemon. Middle notes, tuberose, orange blossom. And base notes, we have caramel, vanilla, and cedar. I would definitely pick up something very spicy, which is from the cinnamons, a little bit fruity. But the main player of this one would be orange blossom and the caramel. The two notes make this fragrance an absolutely stunning Guatemalan floral type fragrance. I absolutely love this. When I smell this at Lucky Sen during summer, I told myself I gotta have this one right away because it is such a beautiful fragrance. It has that Guamont quality, but at the same time, smelling very rich, very classy and elegant because of that white floral in there. Very, very feminine too. I wouldn't think that a man would want to wear this one, but again, wear whatever makes you happy, guys. I definitely think that this fragrance leans a lot more on the feminine side, and I absolutely love it. I, I bought this because it's really sexy and feminine. I would want to wear this one during fall, winter, and on a date night. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for summer or when the weather getting more warm because it could choke you out. Yes, this is a very powerful fragrance. So um, be careful with the spray. So that is Weedian Arabia Black number no. five. The next niche fragrance that I want to talk about that have a caramel note. I have owned this fragrance for more than a year but I have never really talked about this fragrance. I have never really showed it on my Instagram, any of my social media, or even not on YouTube, but that is Tamine Peregrina. So I got this one when it is not even distributed in the US, so I have to I order my bottle from the website and this is a I believe this is a UK brand the first time I heard about this one is from Demi Rowling and after that um, another person I don't remember her name or her channel but if I remember I would link her channel and her video below for you guys but yeah I heard two people talk about this fragrance I just start paying more attention to this one because Demi Rowling talk about it. Um, I am a big fan of Demi Rowling. Part of it because I do have a very similar taste with Demi Rowling. Whatever that she recommends usually works for me. Usually, not all the time, but usually works for me. So when I heard her raving about this fragrance, I just blind bought it and I gotta say it is a very beautiful decadence um, classy type of fragrance this is a caramel this is a caramel with rose fragrance so another gourmand floral fragrance it's very beautiful I smell a little bit of the oud in the background not too much. It's, it, this is not a skanky oud at all. No, if you are scared of oud, please don't be scared with this one. It is not a skanky oud. But I can definitely smell it. It is a beautiful one. But I do have to be in the mood to wear this one. Um, and I don't recommend this for hotter weather. It's This one has to be wear 
in cooler weather. But yeah, I like it. I don't love it. And I know at the time Demi Rowling really, really loved this one. Um, when I got this one, it's kind of underwhelmed from me, but it does grow on me. It's just not there yet. And I want to spend some more time with this fragrance. It is still a very beautiful caramel and rose fragrance. If you can get your hands on this, if you have a store nearby you that carry this fragrance, go give it a try and you know, see for yourself. All right, speaking of the devil, I'm just kidding. Demi Rowling is not a devil. She is an absolute angel. But talking about Demi Rowling, I have to talk about Demi, Demi from Fragrance Dubois. And I gotta be honest, guy, I actually bought this fragrance because first of all, <laughs> it was on sale on Max Aroma. So when I saw the price is too good, I I was curious. I just I just want to have it. My very first fragrance Dubois fragrance. Um, and of course, I want to support my girl Demi Rawling. So when I saw the good deal and they have Minui Edemi on the website, I grab it right away. But everybody know about this fragrance. I don't have to talk too much about Minui Edemi. This is the beautiful spicy cardamom, caramel, vanilla, coffee goodness. If you love a gourmand, but more of a sensual gourmand, sexy gourmand, more than just a straight up food like gourmand, you gotta try Minuia Demi. I find this one extremely sexy, but comforting at the same time. This is perfect for a date night where you get more intimate with your partner. Because to me, this is not the performance, it's great, but it's not a beast. It doesn't hit you in the face with the projection. And to me, that is a really good element for an intimate date night. So yeah, please guys, check this one out. I absolutely love this one. I know that a lot of people think that this fragrance is overhyped. To me, it is not. It is really a beautiful fragrance. And when I smell this one, I can see Demi Rowling in this bottle right away. This does remind me of Creed Chanel and I don't say that these two fragrances smell the same. No, it just, it just remind me of the cardamom in Creed Chanel. And because Creed Chanel is one of Demi Rowling absolute favorite of all time fragrance, I see her signature in here. I see that beautiful spicy cardamom in here and it is such a beautiful note to go with the coffee and the caramel note to really tone down that sweetness and make this fragrance more classy, more elegant. All right guys, let's move on to the next one and I cannot remember, I cannot remember the order anymore, but let's just keep it rolling. So the next one would be Caramello Vanilla from New Notes. Yes, it's just like the name. It smells just like the name, Caramel and Vanilla. And I know at first I said I wasn't really impressed with this one because I have so many, you know, vanilla fragrance in my collection that I don't need another one. But you know what, one day I did not feel too good when I go to work, but I still want to smell good. This one, I spray this one to go to work and, and this make me feel very comfortable and relaxed because of that beautiful caramel note. So this one I definitely wear on the day that I don't feel like wearing anything too much but I still want something smell nice and comforting. Like the name, caramel or vanilla, those are the two main notes of this fragrance. 
I would definitely say that there is more caramel in this one but you know the two notes really mix well together to create this beautiful gourmand dessert light type of fragrance this really reminds me of a dessert um, the creme brulee yeah it's really remind of the creme brulee and I love that dessert okay it's a beautiful fragrance it's very very simple there's nothing complex about this one but i think that's the beauty of it it is such it's just simple and comforting so if you love caramel fragrance and vanilla fragrance you have the best of both world in this fragrance all right guys the next one this one is very very popular in the fragrance community i don't want you to see until i tell you what it is but it is La Capitale from Zerja. Okay guys, this is also a caramel fragrance, but the focus is not just on the caramel. This is a strawberry, leathery caramel fragrance. And I heard a lot of people talk about this fragrance, but they, they emphasize emphasize more on the gourmand element of this fragrance which is you know the caramel the strawberry but remember there is a letter note in here it is straight up leather it's not just suede it is leather um i would say the letter it's very smooth in here almost like undetectable but when i spray on my skin when i actually spray it out and wear it I would definitely picked up more of that leather very well blended leather with other notes in here but it's quite powerful this is a very very powerful fragrance that I don't recommend you guys to overspray this because I could see that it it will overwhelm you the first time i wear this one full day i put on about 10 spray and i regretted it right away it's literally so powerful that it trigger my highs and even though i love the way it smell it's really trigger um reaction on my skin so a little goes a long way with this one please be careful with your spray don't go too crazy on this because it is already a very powerful fragrance you only need i would say about three spray maximum maybe five but not more than that because you don't want to get sick from spraying this fragrance and then you don't want to wear it ever again since then i haven't been able to wear it yet because my high was so bad and then the weather was getting warmer so i was waiting to wear this one this year i'm gonna wear this i i'm gonna pull this one out during winter because i feel like now it's still it's still kind of warm for this one Again, La Capitale from Zerjop is a very powerful fragrance. So don't spray it in the heat, cool weather only. So that is Zerjop La Capitale. Okay guys, we are approaching the very last two fragrances in this category, caramel fragrances. The second to last fragrance I'm gonna talk about is Wanted Girl from Azaro. And this one I got during summer. I would say that you can wear this one during summer. Oh, it's such a beautiful fruity floral with the caramel note. I would say this fragrance highlight, it's more on the orange blossom, the fruitiness and the caramel. It smells so good, guys. I don't know why not more people talking about this fragrance it is a designer fragrance but to me it smells so good it 
doesn't smell anything groundbreaking but do we want to smell groundbreaking all the time i feel like nowadays we just expect so much because we know we have the best fragrances in the niche world and then the private line from the designer but to me sometimes i just want something simple like this and this one just like perfectly exactly what i'm looking for yeah beautiful easy going nothing groundbreaking but beautiful that is azaro wanted girl last but not least another new acquisition in my collection i have never talked about this one but i fell in love with it right when i got it it is scandal le parfum from jean paul gaultier i have never owned any of the scandal flankers from jean paul gaultier because i have heard so many different opposite opinions about this line but when i heard someone again i don't remember who talked about this one but that person said it is this is a very beautiful jasmine fragrance with a caramel and salty note and when i heard that i gotta have it right away and look at the bottle it's just it's just simply gorgeous i always want to own a scandal bottle i was just i was just skeptical about it and i don't know which scandal would be for me but Scandal Le Parfum would be the fragrance for me because I love jasmine, I love caramel notes. This is the best of both worlds. Mm, imagine that beautiful caramel drizzle on top of the jasmine with the added notes of salt. Usually I am I don't do well with salty notes, but the salty notes in here it's not too much. I think it's just make this less sweet and too overpowerful. Yeah, I, I love this. I don't I also have heard a lot of people have different opinions about Scandal Le Parfum. But to me, this one works for me because I love jasmine and I love caramel. The notes are very easy. There's nothing groundbreaking about this fragrance again, but sometimes I just want to smell beautiful. And this really satisfy that, you know, that desire in me. So that is Jean-Paul Cartier Scandal Le Parfum. All right guys, that concludes my video for today. I hope you guys enjoy my list of all the caramel fragrances in my collection. Please let me know if you are interested in getting a full review, full in-depth review of any of this fragrance that I'm talking about today. I would love to do that for you guys. But yeah, thank you for watching my video today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.